Yeah, but some would say it is not a national budget. Let's call it what it truly is, is a PNM hustle. The opposition leader says it's not the COVID-19 pandemic that has put this country's economy in the ICU, but the government's incompetence. When that government shady takes over 100 million of taxpayers' dollars to pay off its well-oiled friends, but in its shameless conjure budget, chooses to tell a starving, desperate pauper citizenry who are forced to choose between feeding a children or paying rent. They say, let them eat biscuit and pigtail. That is a worst kind of war against the population. In fact, Mrs. Basad Bisasa says the budget was bankrupt of new ideas. Broadband services, free Wi-Fi, promised since 2015 and now again repeated here in 2022. Agriculture stimulus package in 2018, again here now in 2022. Public utilities, since 2015, repeating about improving water supply and people still suffering. She says there's little to show what the government has spent millions of dollars on during its time in office. In the past six years, this Minister of Finance has acted like a reckless teenager with a credit card. Our credit rate is now so bad, I think that not even DSS would want to lend money to this government. She says there's no plan to create jobs as unemployment continues to go up. One in every five workers is jobless under this government. Yet she says the government is looking to reintroduce property tax. Persons today are struggling to keep a roof over their heads, paying mortgage or rent for an apartment to live in. Some are being served eviction letters. They have no money to buy food and devices for their children. But the minister wants them to pay property tax. As for the distribution of salary relief grants, the opposition leader says the minister's numbers are not adding up. According to the estimates of expenditure, and for that year that the minister is talking about 2020, the actual expenditure for 2020 was not $143 million. So which is it? It was $42.6 million in the yellow books. $42.6 million in the yellow books. So which is it, minister? Is this another typo? Does this amount to another typo where you say one thing in the statement and then in the estimates it's different? But that's, and again, that's where I come back again, maths, not maths. In. But that's not the only thing. According to the minister for 21, the fiscal year just completed, a total of 8,200 grants valued at 24 million have been paid out in salary relief grants. Again, according to the same books that you supplied with, Minister Aswith, there was absolutely no allocation in 2021 for salary relief grant. So where did you get that money from? Mrs. Basabi says also reminds Minister Imber that it was him who criticized her government for introducing the zero rating of basic food items. After they reinstated VAT and thousands of these items, the minister now wants to come and portray himself as a savior by removing VAT from biscuit and pig tail and whatever. I tell you, that's as bare faced as you can ever get. Mrs. Basan says is adamant that the government will lose this war, saying citizens will fight back. Bobby Tikopolchan, CNC3 News.